What I indicated in the letter is that unfortunately after 20 months uh, it appears that we're in an impasse with negotiations with the Alberta Medical Association and I should say that's not without uh, a lot of effort I think on both sides. Uh, Dr. Jufri became president in September and he's been excellent to work with but unfortunately when it comes to the agreement uh, we do uh, now seem to be clearly at an impasse. Uh, and as a result, uh, in my letter, I've uh, communicated to him that government has decided to move forward and implement the best offer that we presented back in October. So the, uh, the additional uh, funding that's been provided today uh, and will be implemented over the next four years will add about $463 million to physician compensation. Uh, we have about 8,300 physicians in Alberta. So you'll see in, as part of what we've uh, announced here, we had, had this under discussion is uh, two of the older programs that, uh, uh, that aren't required uh, that were outside the fee-for-service side of it are going to be allocated to improvements for family doctors, better, better support for family doctors in primary health care. And that's $120 million, and that'll go a long way to helping us achieve our objectives there. Under the previous president, we were, you know, we were not making progress in the negotiations, but doctors, family docs were saying, look, our, we haven't had an increase in our PCN funding since 2003. Uh, so I did provide a, uh, a $12 increase per patient increase in that funding despite the fact that we didn't have an agreement. Um, I don't think uh, you know Albertans really are going to have a problem with that. I think what they're concerned with is maintaining our position as the best paid in the country and that we're being fair and transparent in terms of how we're compensating doctors.